Ballin' in that bitch 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 Hey, what's going on guys? This is Josh Leverett with Cali K9 Dog Training. And today, we're gonna be going over housebreaking, puppy training, and a little bit of marker training. So, you wanna learn how to train your puppy? I'm gonna show you today. Come on and uh, hang out with me today at Cali K9 in my kennels. All right, so, so far, Mansa Musa is a couple weeks into his potty training. So, he's learned to build up his bladder a little bit. Normally, I usually wouldn't have a dog stay overnight, but for now, it's first thing in the morning, so I'm letting Musa out of this kennel, or after a full overnight stay, but I never want to stay, leave him in there too long. First thing in the morning, I got to take him out. So when I come, I'm going to go ahead and get him out the kennel, right? Teach him some kennel etiquette. Mark him for waiting at the kennel. Okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and leash him up. And now I'm gonna take him to the desired place where I want him to use the bathroom. So once I've let my dog use the bathroom, I now am gonna go into feeding my dog. But one thing a lot of people do is they tend to feed their dogs out of bowls. And when you feed your dog out of a bowl, you're really not taking advantage of the power of food. So, you know, right now I have Musa's uh, food in my pocket. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make him work for his breakfast, right? So, okay. Good. And then I'll just do some of my dog training. And I'll just make him work for his breakfast. So the key is, is you keep the high desire for the breakfast, and then he wants to continue to work. And I'm using a clicker. So a lot of times I'll use the, click, the marker training, either as a click or I'll use my voice. Good. So that's how you should feed your dog because if you're feeding your dog straight at your hand, you guys are having way more interaction time, you're able to do a lot more obedience reps, and you're able to get way more out of the dog uh, by leveraging that food. So I like to hand feed my dogs in the morning. All right, so since my dog is just a puppy, you know, it's very important that, you know, I get all his vaccinations. And if he doesn't have all his vaccinations, he really shouldn't be out in the public. So that doesn't mean you still can't play with your dog. This here is a flirt pole. And this is actually something that is a great outlet for your dogs. Uh, it's something that really channels their prey drive and it really gets a lot of energy out. So um, when you're, you know, when you're having a puppy, a lot of times people say, oh, I can't get my dog out, I can't. So you can do so many things at home by socializing your puppy uh, to new people, to getting the dog desensitized to different environments around the house, and also having fun with your dog, giving him games like uh, chasing the flirt pole and things like that versus him chasing, around, chasing you around and trying to bite your socks and stuff. So these are some of the extra outlets that you can do with your young pup. So now you notice I have a leash on my dog. So one thing about a leash is it allows you to have some control of the dog. So if I'm gonna have my dog in the house, I like to set some boundaries so I have the food, but I also have some control. So when I take the dog into the house, I wanna make sure I have a leash because the leash is gonna allow me to set those boundaries. I have a newborn baby at the house, so I can make sure that he's not gonna jump on the baby, scratch the baby, poke him in the eye with his claws or anything like that. I mean, the worst things can happen, so we always have to plan for the worst. So I like to keep my young puppy on a leash all the way until he achieves house manners and until he goes off leash. So a lot of times people are just letting their dog have free run, run, uh, roam of the house, and what that does is that sets the boundaries that there are no boundaries. So the key is, is this is my first step to setting the boundaries. So let's head inside. When we're having dinner at the table, we want to teach the dog that he can't sit right here at the table. It goes to his place, he stays at his place. If he can't stay at his place, he doesn't know his place come in, then he goes back to his crate. So a crate is basically essentially your place. So you want the dog to enjoy the crate, like the crate, like the place. So you create positive association. So a lot of times I give chew toys and food and all that stuff at the place. Okay, so one thing is I don't like a dog to sit there and beg at the table, so I make sure he knows his place come in so he stays away from the dinner table. So when I'm in the house, I like to make sure I keep my dog on the leash because I don't want him to run off into another room. I don't want him to go potty on a rug. I have a lot of rugs in my house. I don't want the dog to use the bathroom in the wrong place. So it's up to me on how I regulate my dog. So I have to make sure that I know where my dog is. It's just like you put those little 
things to keep your baby from opening cabinets. You have to uh, child-proof a house, you have to puppy-proof a house as well. So if you're gonna have a puppy, it's best that you keep some boundaries and you know you are always in control of where they are in the house. You establish where the boundaries are. In this couch, this is my couch. So the dog needs to know, no, the dog needs to know exactly where he needs to be and that's in his place, but he's definitely not gonna be on my place. So I don't advise you guys to have your dogs on couches and beds because that will start to humanize the dog and teach the dog that you guys are the same. And in the dog and the animal kingdom, you kind of have to establish some leadership, otherwise the dog's gonna be taking advantage of you. So no beds and no couches. So I know a lot of YouTubers often promise a lot with one little title or whatever saying they can fix everything. And I don't believe that's the case. I mean, my system is all about teaching you, making sure you know what you're doing so you can be successful, not just trying to wow you in a quick video. So if you wanna learn more about my system, I have an online training system that takes you through eight chapters of dog training as well as a module PDF to go with it that's going to assist you in training every day and again you have to do the work there's no way there's no easy way of getting out of dog training it's just like with anything practice makes perfect so if you guys really want to learn how to do it check out the link below like and comment on this video and make sure that you guys go to Cali K9 and really uh, invest in your own education and learn how to really become a trainer see you guys later thanks for watching peace